Hello and welcome to this short tutorial where I am going to show you how you can use your uh, new plugin, your content spread plugin for your WordPress website in order to get more shares and obviously more traffic to and engagement to your, to your content from your blog and from your website. You probably already know that this is something that uh, a lot of uh, bloggers have uh, used successfully in the past and you can use it now also and they are still using it and you can use it now also for your own uh, website and for your own content. So first things first you have probably already downloaded the plugin to your computer. What I want you to do is go to your WordPress website, log into your admin dashboard and this is the first thing that you will see. <clears throat> now go into the left side menu, you will have a section there plugins, click on the plugins option from the menu and this will open for you. Go to the add new section, press on that button, on the add new button and a new page will open to you. You will have a new button here which says upload plugin, click on that button, then you will have to choose a file, the file from your computer obviously, we will just press the button choose a file, I will paste, paste my address from my location for my plugin from my computer, let me just look for it okay this is it I press the button open we we now press the install now button and bear with me for a couple of seconds and this is it it has been installed on the website so you have to look for this piece of text here plugin installed successfully now after the plugin has been installed successfully all you have to do is activate the plugin so click on the button activate plugin wait for a couple of seconds and now you are in the plugins list and you can see that your plugin has been installed here and if you have a look in the left side menu you will see that this option has appeared for you content spread okay now let's click on all lockers you have only two options so you have already one locker here now a locker basically you have to create a new locker for each piece of content that you want to lock and <clears throat> And this is what we will do right now. We will create a new locker. As you can see, you have an option here or you can just click here in the menu. Let's click on the new locker button. Let's give it a name, locker2. Then for the locker header, you can, <clears throat> I don't know, add something, content locked, uh, share this to unlock the content, okay? Then we, you can also add uh, an image if you want for the locker message. Then we just press the publish button. And if we go back and look to all lockers, you can see that we have the second locker created. Now what you want to do, for example, let's say that you have a new article, a new blog post that you want to lock. Go to your all posts and see which is the article that you want to lock. For example, let's say we have the SaaS software here, one of my articles. We press edit and what we want to do, you will see this small icon here, content spread. You just have to click on it and select the locker that you want over the content, right? Let's select locker two, okay? This short code will appear here. And what you want to do right now is update the article. And basically this is everything that you have to do. Now let me show you how this works. Let's just go onto the blog. Okay, and this is it, the SAF software, okay? You can see that it has the content locked, right? Very, very simple, the content is locked. We have to tweet or like in order to be able to see the content. Let me just go back here and show you something else. Okay, let me select everything, content, locker one, okay. Update, you have to select the piece of text that you want to lock. Let me refresh it. And this is it guys. Okay, you can see that the content has been locked. So the, con the piece of content that you select uh, from your article, you can lock. So you can, uh, you can lock only parts of it if you want. Okay, so it's very, very simple. I hope that you will enjoy your new plugin and I am looking forward to see you in other videos as well. Bye bye for now, it was Sorin here.